top of the building, past the sleeping security guard, and let everybody know about it. Now, Lynn Berry is up early this morning with more on exactly what happened. So what did he have to get past to get to the top? Uh, you know, and how could it happen, right? Yeah. First and foremost, even the mayor of New York City is saying, we don't know how this is yeah. possible. But in his own words, Justin Caseo is telling police he basically went under a little one-foot hole in a fence, climbed up some scaffolding, went up an elevator with an elevator operator who didn't ask any questions to the 88th floor, climbed up more scaffolding, got to 104, hung out for two hours in the spire until a security guard looked at him and said, this guy shouldn't be here. He noticed a little red light on his camera and called police. How could something like this, the layers of security, and you mentioned that sleeping security guard, he's now out of a job. So, okay, so who is the 16-year-old? And, I mean, were they up to no good, or was it to try to prove something? Yeah, you know, that's the, what his friends are saying. He's a daredevil. He was an adventurous kid. He did a lot of this park hour thing, or parkour thing, I'm learning, too. Uh, but we do it. I know. Okay. We, both <laughs> teens were learning about them on Facebook and Twitter, right? So he's just this adventurous kid. He's not a wolf in sheep's clothing, but now he's charged with trespassing, and that's the headline. So for his part, what did he have to say for himself? Anything? You know, he's not speaking to the media right now. He's going to high school like he normally would. He's going to appear in court next week, but he's not explaining himself. Probably a smart move. His lawyers probably informed him not to do so. What was this building supposed to be in terms of the most secure in the world? Obviously replacing um, um, the towers that fell on 9-11. It was supposed to be, I would think, a beacon of um, security. That's what has everyone scratching their head, right? This is billed as the most secure building in the country. Layers of security is normally how we see it. All of those fail. A sleeping security guard? You don't hear about that. That's for the movies. Like, this is this is a 16-year-old kid that was able to slip through the cracks. The bad guys out there, you would hope that they're not watching something like that. You would hope that this never happens again and could not possibly happen again. So in some respects, you almost want to thank the 16-year-old. Lynn Berry, thank you. Now, on the Weekend Express, yes. you're in today for us, but you come in for everybody who gets to get up a little bit later on their weekends. We have what you fun. got on tap? We have some fun. Have you heard of Puddles, the sad clown with the golden voice? Have you guys seen this video? We have <laughs> six million hits for this video. Well, guess what? He's going to be in studio Wait, let me hear it. Let me hear it. The kind of luck just ain't for us. We crave a different kind of buzz. That's kind of freaky. Robin, he's got such a good voice. <laughs> not only does he sing that song, he sings another one. Grab your tissues. He's not called the SoundCloud for nothing. Uh, that's 7 a.m. Eastern time tomorrow. We hope to see you guys there. It'll be a lot of fun. We have a great that's time with him. Fascinating. Fun. I gotta learn more about the. What is he, the sad clown? The sad clown with the golden voice. He has such a good voice. <laughs> and he's a sweetheart, too. That's awesome. Yeah. So that's tomorrow on Morning uh, Weekend, Weekend Express. Yes. Right. Okay, Weekend yes. Express. Thanks, Robin. Lynn Barry. Okay. Good to see you. Oscar Pistorius is selling the home where he shot and killed his girlfriend. Apparently, he needs the cash now to cover his legal fees. His attorney blames um, the trial delays for unexpected costs. The house is supposedly worth about four hundred sixty-five thousand dollars. Pistorius is on trial for the murder of his model girlfriend Reba Steenkamp. And he says he thought that she was a burglar when he shot her. He could take the stand for herself next week. You know, don't let phone scammers fool you into thinking that they're from the IRS and you better give them money or you're going off to jail. So far, scammers have made off with like a million bucks collectively. This is how it works. Somebody get on the phone and call you claiming I'm from the IRS and that you owe taxes. And